Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. Hi, I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. And today is day 72 since transplant of putting these quinault strawberries in my hydroponic system here. And so what I've got going on here are those uh, six quinault strawberries. They're starting to flower pretty decent here. Unfortunately, the berry production stopped, which is weird. Uh, and I've only got a handful of berries out of them, so uh, not real geeked about that. But I think it has a lot to do with the variety, and I'll show you what I mean when we go outside. However, uh, what I've been doing uh, in this grow here is I've been experimenting with the lights. I had these originally under two shop lights, and then I switched over for a few weeks to some HPS lights. Uh, to see if I could induce some blooming and that didn't really work so now I'm under a metal halide 400 watt for about 14 hours a day and so that's uh, pretty much where I've been at right now I'm still on the bloom nutrient uh, about 800 parts per million and I keep it pretty much stable at about a 6.0 pH um, a lot of people have been asking about the reservoirs that I'm using. It's a standard cement mixing tub that you can buy at your Home Depot. They're about 36 inches long by about 24 inches wide. They're 16 gallons and they're oh, about 8 inches tall, 8 to 10 inches tall. That's it. So um, pretty pretty cool little setup here. Uh, the plants look pretty pretty healthy here. So. I'm just kind of waiting for the strawberries to kick in and I, like I say, I really believe it has a lot to do with the variety. I think I really picked the wrong variety to put in the hydroponics. Uh, so when, again, when we go outside, you'll see. Alright guys, I got some, a fan kicking on it right now. Uh, look at, see, I got some uh, good uh, strawberry product or not strawberry production, but some flowers kicking in. Um, Got some good healthy plants here and they are getting really big. Um, again, this is only six plants, those quinaults. Um, if you want to take a peek at the roots, they are a little bit brown and it's weird. Whenever I change out the nutrients for the first couple of days, it goes brown and then they clean back and then they clean out to white. And I just changed them just the other day, so that's kind of an interesting little phenomenon there. That whenever you do a nutrient change, maybe it, it shocks the roots a little bit. But for whatever reason, they turn brown and then give it a couple of days and they whiten back up. So, um, but man, they are uh, long, long, long. Um, these things are, are just kicking. So, they have been heavily, heavily trimmed. Okay, so lots of runners in this variety. And all of the vegetation on the bottom that doesn't get a whole lot of light gets cut out of there. Uh, you should have seen these things a few days ago. I mean, it was like a jungle. So right now they've been uh, pruned out, trimmed up type of thing so they, that they look halfway presentable for a video. <laughs> Let's go outside, guys. I had 10 of these varieties all together. And I planted four in, or six in here. I've got four outside in a wine barrel or, or a half, half whiskey barrel. Let's go take a peek at those and see what those are like in comparison to hydroponics. Good. Show the camera. Let's see. Bring it close. Let's let's get a size on it. Okay, that's a nice little berry. That's a nice little berry. Okay, those are our quinault berries, right? And those are the berries that I chose not to put in my or that I chose to put in my hydroponics. Now I had six of them, Ava and Kylie, and I put those in there and I and actually I had 10 of them, right? I put six of them in the hydroponics, I put four in this half um, whiskey barrel here. And we've got some good strawberries starting to come on here, okay? Just a few, but it's been really, really slow, hasn't it? Those are our first two ripe strawberries and it is June 26th. They've been in there since uh, middle of April, right? Right. So these are really slow producing plants and not real excited about it, but look, we got some berries coming. Not really excited. Now, should we take them over to our really good strawberry plants? Let's go in the backyard. Stat! Juicy. Is it good? Is it sour or sweet? Sweet a little. Sweet a little? Okay. Boy, this hair, this, this humid weather, we can't do anything with our hair, can we? Okay, ladies. Come on over here. This 
these are the ones that I actually did not choose to put in my hydroponics and I am upset about it you know why because these are the tri stars and in my opinion they are the all stars we've already picked about a quart and a half of strawberries off of this and they're getting so they're starting to get some size in it lots and lots of um, blooms here's a picture of what it looked like back in the middle of um, June? no April, April. It, this is two from two months ago flap don't eat flap, my, don't. flap don't eat the strawberries the little devil but anyways uh, here's a picture of what they look like when they went in just less than two months ago And here, obviously, are what they look like now. And we've got some pretty decent strawberries growing in there, man. I mean, look at this. This is pretty cool, man, for the first year. They're going to go find a shovel. I don't know what they're going to get with a shovel, but they're kids. What are you going to do? Anyway, uh, lots and lots and lots of berries in here. And uh, this has been a really, really cool thing. I really wish I put them in the hydroponics because I think I would have got a lot more production out of them because uh, the quinolts is proving to me that they are a very slow grower regardless of if they are in soil or if they are in hydroponics. Now, next year if I do strawberry hydroponics, I am going with this one. Now, what are you guys doing? You're gonna dig a hole for a stick. Yeah. First, we gotta find open dirt. Oh. Holy moly! Okay. Can you get it started? Sure. So, anyways, guys, that's the strawberry update. Um, and I will come back at like day 90 and see if we got any production going on inside yet or not. Um, right now, soil is by far uh, the winner. And because, I'll tell you, nothing can beat natural sunlight. So yeah. that's where we're at now. So say bye, ladies. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye, oh, it's so hot out, man. Bye, 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 bye. All right. Bye.